I'm sitting here at the pool. It's all frozen and I'm sitting here just to try to photograph some small birds on the ice. But uh, my plan today is actually not to do like behind the scenes of, photo of photographing birds, but rather just go a little bit through the uh, my new backpack from F-Stop. And I want to talk a little bit about my first impression and uh, what I like about it and also why I change it with the low old low bra bag. So that is my plan. But it's so beautiful weather outside so I could not resist going out and just take my camera in this area here where I feed birds and squirrel and hopefully get some cool shots. And if I do I will show it to you. But uh, yeah the plan is to talk a little bit about my thoughts uh, about my backpack. So here it is. This is the F-Stuff uh, Suka uh, model. So I had my low pro backpack for many many years and I have been so happy with it. It's been an awesome bag uh, holding up in different kind of uh, condition and also it's uh, I have <laughs> treated it really rough over the years so but it had had hold up so I'm so happy with that. But there was two uh, things that I didn't like about that backpack there. And the one thing was the weight. It was too heavy, especially when walking up uh, steep mountains, long hikes, looking for musk oxen. It was uh, just too heavy actually. And the second thing is uh, it was not a good uh, backpack for having like clothes and extra stuff. Uh, that I want to take on my longer trips and yeah it was too clumsy to have my, some of my clothes uh, together with my camera and that was not good enough so I started looking around I have had heard of f-stop and um, have seen their backpacks for a long long time and I have been impressed how they are like produce and all those uh, features that they carry. And now I am a happy ambassador for F-Stop and has been using this for quite a few months now. And I must say this is actually the best backpack I ever tried and used. It will fulfill all my needs uh, with very different kind of features and pockets around this backpack here. And the weight is a lot more uh, lighter than my low pro bag and I cannot wait to use it on longer trips like double. So I bought this in this green color here. It comes in black and orange but I like the green one and uh, the material itself is really uh, durable that it can like you can scratch it with a knife here and it doesn't break open at all so it has a really good build quality on top of the bag is actually the most uh, genius thing about this backpack here which I really really like and that is uh, several pockets here. On the first pocket, on top of this lid here, it's actually really big and can fit all my type of clothes when I'm hiking in Dovre and I need extra wool to change when I'm arriving at the mask action. I can use this uh, pocket here to, to uh, carry that. But for now, I'm using it to carry my GoPro camera, I have my zoom uh, recorder here and uh, this is the SU800 uh, flash, uh, I don't know what it called but you, you are trigger the flash uh, wirelessly and also inside here I got some uh, tripods and uh, mounts for the GoPro camera, really cool mesh pocket there. So this top lid here, I really, really love. It can fit a lot of things. It's really big. And the next pocket here is this little 
pocket on top here. And here is where I carry a little bit lighter stuff. I don't want to have some heavy stuff here. So here I have the, um, the camouflage hood and I have some gloves. And I also have the head strap for the GoPro. I have a knife and yeah, I can also, it has uh, like a thing here where you can have your key so you don't lose it. And you can put anything in here, extra gloves or whatever you need qu quickly access to. So that is so good to have like pockets that you can quickly access when you are out. That is, I have missed that so much on the low pro backpack. Uh, so on the side here, you have some pockets as well. I'm not using that. I have on the side, the other side here, I have some mesh, camouflage mesh, but uh, other than that, I don't use that. I use the side here to strap on my tripods. But the main compartment is, of course, where the camera is. And the genius part is to have them on the back. On the back here, it's really good padded. So it has uh, like some foam to protect from the gear to have a, like a, some hard pointy thing that sticks in my back. So it's really uh, soft and good to like protect my, my back. But if you open this up here, you have a, a Actually, when you buy this, uh, just like the backpack here, it's empty inside here. So you have to buy, a, they call it ICU, and you can buy that uh, as uh, small or, or large as you want. I have the ICU uh, extra large, uh, which fits my 500 millimeter together with a camera. Uh, mounted on that. I arranged it um, with different kind of pockets and uh, so it's really easy to access whatever I want. Also you can actually take that out. I'm not gonna do that now. I'm outside and I don't want to take everything out uh, but I can show you another time. But now I'm just going to show you a little bit uh, what's inside here and uh, the good thing about having this on my my back it's so much easier to like put my backpack down and just unzip it and you are ready to go so on this pocket here i have this package here i took with me on from the low pro backpack and um, i have all my batteries inside this little pocket here the other pockets i can carry this is my 35 millimeter just uh, if i want to have some type of b-roll uh, with that, uh, the next pocket is where I have my 1.4 teleconverter. And here is my macro lens. Uh, if I, I want to do some macro, but also if I have to uh, use it, for, I'm using it also for doing B-rolls with, uh, with a slider. So on the next pocket is of course my D500 or the D4S, uh, depending on which camera is standing on the 500 millimeter. And on the other here, I just have a, like a ball head, extra ball head. It's an extra pocket in here. I don't have anything right now. So I really, really like, this is the same uh, system as the low pro. So I'm used to that, but really nice. But the good thing is about, about this is to have it on the other side instead of taking the whole lid off. Uh, it's, it's much more easier to access this backpack here.